There are few places in the United States as remarkably diverse as the Lower Rio Grande Valley. It is a land where two cultures meld together, and temperate and tropical conditions converge, a place unified by a historic river and the vast biological diversity that it supports. This video serves as a tribute to this amazing landscape, inviting us to reflect on the importance of the unique species and ecosystems it harbors. Join the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley in celebrating the 50th anniversary of Earth Day as we explore a sampling of this biodiversity and gain a deeper appreciation for its protection. Along the northern fringe of the valley, vast expanses of mesquite-dominated woodlands roll across the South Texas sand sheet, where the diversity blends to complement this sand-rich environment. Herds of white-tailed deer and javelina are common here, and species such as dwarf sundew and barred tiger salamander can be found along with Grubildani and Ferruginous pygmyal. To the west, Chihuahuan Desert fuses with Tomalipan thorn scrub, and sandstone bluffs tower over the clear, fast-flowing Rio Grande. The plant and animal communities here are represented by a spectacular array of desert and arid adapted species, several of which, such as the star cactus, Diablo scorpion, Mexican burrowing toad, and the Mexican white-lipped frog are found nowhere else in the United States. Moving east, you enter the delta of the Rio Grande. Here, the river slows and the rich alluvial soils support more luxuriant vegetation communities such as the ebony evergreen thorn forest, where green jays, clay-colored thrush, and kiskadees flit through the trees while piraki slumber in the leaf litter. Snaking across the delta, ancient river channels, called resacas, long ago cut from the Rio Grande, deliver life-giving water to this otherwise arid landscape and provide critical habitat for resident aquatic species like black-bellied whistling ducks, green kingfishers, and least grebes, as well as important wintering grounds for migratory waterfowl such as green-winged teal. The sable palm forest is a spectacular example of a tropical ecosystem reaching its northernmost extreme in the United States, where specialty species like Mexican tree frog and Central American speckled racer share these forests with the raucous chachalaca and chattery buff-bellied hummingbird. Further east, nearing the coast, the delta soils, now influenced by the Gulf of Mexico, are dominated by Tomalipan thorn scrub and vast expanses of coastal prairie. This xeric and halophytic ecosystem, while seemingly inhospitable, is surprisingly home and habitat to an amazing assortment of wildlife, including rare and endangered species such as the Central American ocelot, Texas tortoise, Texas horned lizard, and black spotted newt. As the land gives way to water, hypersaline lagoons, such as the Laguna Madre and Bahia Grande, form a vital ecosystem and estuary environment to countless nesting and foraging shorebirds, such as the snowy plover tending her eggs and this American oyster catcher feeding its chick. Dipping beneath the surface of these waters introduces us to a whole new realm of diversity as miles of seagrass and oyster beds stretch out across these mangrove-lined expanses where banded tulip snails silently stalk Atlantic Bay scallops, butterfly rays glide effortlessly through the shallows, and Atlantic bottlenose dolphins chase schools of striped mullet through these protected waters. Reaching the end of the Rio Grande, where it empties into the Gulf of Mexico, an entirely new environment emerges in the form of miles of sandy beaches and barrier islands. Coastal grasslands stretch out as far as the eye can see, and specialized sand-loving species emerge to take advantage of it. Black-backed land crabs can be found skittering through the dunes alongside keeled, earless lizards, while critically endangered Kemp's Ridley sea turtles tediously haul themselves ashore to nest and lay their eggs. Some 55 days later, the hatchlings emerge and quickly scamper into the ocean disappearing into an ecosystem of unparalleled diversity. Diving into the depths of the Gulf of Mexico with a pod of Atlantic spotted dolphins, the bathymetry of the Texas coast can range from endless expanses of mud and sand to extraordinary natural rocky outcroppings covered and encrusted in colorful sponges, corals, and other invertebrates. Artificial reefs and wrecks have been created to complement these marine ecosystems where spotted siphoma snails and brilliant bristleworms share these waters with a huge diversity of fish, such as coco damsels, tessellated blenny, red snapper, spadefish, and barracuda. While this has been a mere glimpse of the incredible diversity the lower Rio Grande Valley has to offer, 
we hope you will take with you a deeper appreciation for the region and look to it with newfound wonder and awe. Earth Day is about celebrating the marvelous natural diversity of our planet, and few places showcase this as spectacularly as the valley.